name is Lucy and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please do consider smashing that subscribe button. It honestly would mean so, so much to me. And if you enjoyed this video, please do smash a big thumbs up to let me know. Don't forget to go follow me over on TikTok as well. I'm uploading content basically daily over there and do go follow me over on Instagram. For today's video, quite a few of you guys have been asking me to do a what you should pack for auditions. Obviously, thankfully, the pandemic seems to be going away and we are going back to some kind of normality. And this means auditions are going to be starting back in person for those of you auditioning for drama school in the new year as in the new academic year and also for like normal auditions as well obviously most auditions for the last year have been over self-tape so it's kind of nice you don't need to pack anything you can film it as much as you want you do it in the comfort of your own home but there's nothing like auditioning in person and getting your personality across to the panel in person so i'm so so happy that auditions are starting to be back in person so as you guys have asked for it i thought i would do a little things you should pack for your audition i'm kind of focusing this towards drama school auditions but this could apply to any audition. Maybe you're auditioning for your local dance school, musical theatre school, maybe you're auditioning for a real professional job. Who knows? But these are just some things that I think are audition essentials for me. So without further ado, let's get into it. I've made a list on my phone as always because I have the memory of an absolute sieve. That is actually the first thing I would say is when you're packing for an audition, make a list in advance of everything you want to take because you don't want to be rushing about last minute. And I feel like when you're one, stressed about the audition and two, like rushing about to get packed, you're going to forget something. So always make a list whether you refer back to this video and this video is your list or you just write a list on your phone or something honestly it will save you and it will just save any unnecessary stress on the day of your audition for if you've forgotten something first up you need to take your sheet music now don't forget to take your sheet music this would just be awful i would always say take two copies of your sheet music just in case something happens to one of them i don't know what's going to happen there might be an apocalypse and one of your sheet music gets destroyed always take two copies of your sheet music just in case and you're going to want to either take them taped or in a folder if you are taking them taped i would advise taking them in a plastic wallet or in a kind of poppy folder because otherwise it's just going to get manky in your bag the edges are going to get scraped you might spill something on it you want your sheet music to be well presented however if you're not taking it taped personally i never really take my sheet music taped because i just find taping it really really stressful then you're going to want to take it in a display folder this is just one that i got from wh smith it's my personal favorite and it's just easier for the pianist to flick through your sheet music if it is in one of these you can get these on Amazon, WH Smith, Slitchy, Ryman's, anywhere, any kind of stationery shop, you're going to be able to get these. But just protect your sheet music, guys. Don't just chuck it in your bag and then the edges be all torn and everything. As much as it's not going to stop you getting into somewhere, it just kind of looks like you don't care that much. So take your sheet music and take good care of it. Next thing I would say you need to take is a notebook. Now, whether this is with notes that you've already made in it, maybe about your character, stuff you want to look over just before you go into the audition, you also want to have a notebook in case you need to make notes at the audition. They might give you key information about recalls. They might give you good advice. You might get to talk to some of the students in a Q&A and they might tell you something that you want to remember so you can just jot it down. Always just think it's good to have a notebook and pen just in case. Then if you have an acting audition, you also want to take your monologue and the play if you have it. Obviously, you will know your monologue off by heart, but I would always say take it just in case. I doubt you're ever going to have to give it to the panel. It's not a memory test. They don't really care if you get something a tiny bit wrong, but I would say always have it in your bag. It's funny what nerves can do to us there's honestly stuff that I have known inside out like the back of my hand and just before you go in your brain just goes blank and you can't remember the first line and just having that with you in your bag you're not going to probably take it into the room but just having it outside the room with you just so you know in your brain that you have it there if you need it then you probably won't need it it's that thing if you've got it you won't use it but if you don't have it you're literally going to have a freak out and forget your first line so I feel like it's always a good thing to have also if you have the play it's good to maybe take that with you as well I mean you're not going to sit and read the whole play in your audition but maybe before you might want to look over what happened just before just to jog your memory and kind of get into character so yeah i would say 110 percent take your monologue either written out or in a folder like printed out or take the play or take both i'm always a take more stuff sort of person like i will have a huge bag for an audition when i really don't need it because i just feel like there's nothing worse than being underprepared now i'm going to go on to close so i'm assuming for this mock audition i'm talking about in my head you're doing singing dancing and acting so you're obviously going to need your dance clothes so you're going to need your leotard and tights if that is what they have asked you to wear and you're going to probably need ballet shoes if you're doing a ballet call you're probably going to maybe need jazz shoes if you want to wear jazz shoes trainers to dance in foot thongs whatever you feel comfortable on your feet also i would say make sure to practice in the shoes that you're going to wear in the audition i think the worst thing is going into an audition with a new pair of shoes because it sounds silly but you don't know if they're going to make you dance differently you don't know if you're going to be able to turn in them so yes make sure to have all bases covered with your footwear and i would say pack that well in advance because 
the last thing you want to do is turn up at your audition and realize you've got one ballet shoe that is just not what anyone needs on a stressful day anyway then for clothes people often ask me what you should wear to an audition now if i know that i have a dance call first i will wear my leotard and tights underneath and then i'll maybe put like joggers and a hoodie over the top because obviously i'm not going to walk down the streets of london in my leotard and tights but it's just good to have it on before you get there obviously if you don't need to have it on before maybe you have singing first then personally i would go in my singing clothes like in my dress and tights and boots or whatever if that's what i'm wearing but again they're not going to say you don't get time to change unless they specify on the email you must come ready there'll be no chance to change then i wouldn't stress too much about it they're not going to force you into an audition in your jeans and your jumper that you've arrived in do you know what i mean so i wouldn't stress too much about it but also make sure that you don't forget your clothes if you don't go in them I feel like it's a very easy thing to do if your clothes are on your body you know you've got them because you're wearing them but if you're putting them in your bag make sure to check you've got your dress your tights your shoes whatever you're wearing you've got your top and your trousers make sure you've got the right underwear if you need to change out of a sports bra from dance into a normal bra that's a big thing and it's such an easy thing to forget also socks don't forget socks sounds silly but you don't want to have sweaty stinky feet in your shoes if you don't have socks so these are all things that are just going to make your day a lot less stressful also i think you're probably going to end up wearing similar things for singing and acting unless they specify that you need clothes you can move in for acting for example so that's kind of all the clothing things covered also you're going to need to take stuff to do your hair and makeup now for dance i always like to have my hair in a slick ponytail just because i have a lot of hair as you can see and i don't like it getting in my face but then for singing i enjoyed having it down and curled so you just need to kind of figure out what works best for you so you're probably going to need a hairbrush bobby pins gel hairspray maybe stuff like that i would say if you want to have your hair curled curl it before you go you're not going to have time to sit and curl your hair mid audition day but they are just some little things that you're going to need to take you might want to take little bits of makeup to top up your makeup i always did my makeup before i left but i just like to take powder mascara some lip gloss stuff like that just to top it up throughout the day so if i have dance first just top up my makeup before i go into singing next up is water take a reusable water bottle with you obviously worst case scenario you can pick one up probably on the way there'll be a shop near maybe where you're going but i would say don't risk it make sure you've got a reusable water bottle my favorite ones are the kind of metal ones because they keep your water cold if you're in a dance call and it's really really hot the best thing is a cold drink of water out of one of those metal water bottles honestly trust me yeah so make sure you take a water bottle you don't have to take loads of like bottles of water i'm sure there'll be water fountains there to fill up your bottle but make sure that you have got a bottle with you because you are gonna need water throughout that day for singing for dancing and for acting and you don't want to be caught off guard then i would say probably the final thing is food take food with you i don't know if this is just me because i have loads of dietary requirements and my tummy is sometimes not a very happy place i always like to take food that i know i've eaten before i feel the last thing you want to have on the day of an audition is a dicky tummy i don't know about you guys but when i'm nervous my tummy gets a bit sore and gurgly anyway so i don't want to kind of aggravate it with any food that is new and also you don't know if you're going to have a chance to go out to a shop and get something to eat there might not be a shop nearby to where you're going so i would say take a packed lunch for sure and take lots of little snacks i felt at audition days i couldn't eat a big meal before my audition i couldn't eat a big thing at lunch if there was a lunch break i preferred having little things that i could just snack on during the day obviously you don't want to have mega unhealthy sugary snacks because they're going to cause you to have loads of energy and then crash completely so you want things that are going to sustain you throughout the day and i think that is everything that you will need to pack for an in-person audition day now personally i've not done an in-person audition day in three years so i might have forgotten things if there's anything that you think i've forgotten please pop it down below in the comments to let me know you guys can all help each other out i hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and found it helpful well, good luck to any of you that are auditioning for drama school in this like upcoming season i hope that your auditions go well please do not stress and i really hope for you that they are in person and also good luck to all of you starting drama school in september you're gonna have the best time of your life and i can't wait to hear about all your experiences thank you so much for all your love and support as always don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i'll hopefully see you very very soon thanks for watching bye, bye.